Hey YouTubers, uh, today is the last day of Black Sea Bus season, and we got a very nice keeper. She's about 16 inches, and we're gonna flay her up today. Let's take a look. So, when we flay this guy, we're gonna flip her over, and we're gonna start with going against the grain, because you want this uh, knife to sort of dig in and go against the backbone and once we hit the backbone we're just gonna go diagonally or horizontally I guess um, down the bone until we can't and when you hit the end clear your blade cuz that's gonna muck you up if you don't clear the blade. So now we're started there and we're just gonna work our way along the backbone. Just real slow. And once you hit the backbone you need to start angling your blade down so you stay on the backbone. And go real slow and you're gonna get a nice bone-free filet here and when you get to here you're going up on top of the ribs so you just want to keep them tight and sort of just pick the meat right off the bones and you'll eventually come to a point where there's not so much skin left and you'll cut through and you'll get this nice beautiful filet put that off to the side and then we'll do the other side so same deal clear your knife go up through the scales and hit the backbone come back down and just go up against the bones and it really helps if your blade is sharp come back clear your scales we're right on the bones here and we're gonna go you can hear it as you scrape if you hear it scrape you know you're on the bones and once you get to the mid where the spine is sticking out, angling your knife down. The fish sometimes will slide. Depending upon how long it's been out of the water or how slippery your board is. But right now we pretty much cleaned against the bones and we're going to go up against the uh, rib cage here and we're just going to make some small cuts. Just down the rest of the rib meat and we'll eventually get to a point here where the filet falls right off the bones. And we got a nice beautiful filet. We'll match here. And now this becomes lobster meat and there's nothing left but stomach material, which I'm always curious what they're eating. So let's see. The last couple of fish we've looked at, they have not been eating anything substantial. And same here, their uh, tummy is pretty much empty. It's right here. And if I cut it open, nothing there. That's a very hungry fish. All right, we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna come back and we're gonna 
finish those fillets up. All right, we got a nice clean station here again, and we're just going to fillet or skin the meat off the bones. So we'll just get them started here. And we'll just boom, just like that. Got a nice clean fillet. Have just a little bit of left over for the cat that has a little bit of bones in it. And not for the cat. <laughs> Alright, same thing here. What I forgot to do on the last one is that if you feel the middle here, normally there's a little bit of pin bone that you just sort of cut out. And it's normally right in the middle. And as you Play the fish, it comes right out. But the way they did the last one, I think the pin bone came right out with it. Because this one I did a better job. I got much cleaner. And the pin bone comes out in the middle. And I think right here the pin bone came out in the middle with just a little bit of scrap on the side. Yep, that's a pin bone. Pin bone. And we get nice, beautiful fillets in each one. Wow, totally bone free. Bone free. Beautiful fillets. Alright, that's how you fillet a sea bass.